Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne and you're watching David's Video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a customer's API using PHP, specifically using the Laravel framework. Now Laravel in order to um, provide data needs to talk to a database. In this project we're going to be using MySQL and uh, the MySQL is going to be um, contained with inside of a Docker container. The data from uh, Laravel is going to be provided using Nginx. This is also going to be uh, with inside of its own Docker container. And the three services, PHP, MySQL and uh, Nginx, are going to be created uh, with inside of a Docker Compose YAML file. This video is... Um, it's just a brief overview of how, how you can do this project, but it specifically shows you all of the configuration files that are required and the steps that you need to follow to do it. By the end of this video, you should have a very good understanding about the different topics that you need to learn in order to learn how to um, create a, a production ready um, customer API. Now, it doesn't have to be for customers because this video just talks about how to set up an API using Laravel with PHP. So this video could be used for many, many other different reasons, not just a customer's API. Anyway, that's enough talking. Um, let's get involved. I, I, I've sped up a whole bunch of um, sections of this video where I've made errors. I haven't I haven't edited out any problems that I encountered. I've kept them all in and I've described them, how I fixed them during it. Um, but OK, so let's get started, shall we? I hope you enjoy. If you do have any feedback on the video, please make sure you comment below and write any questions. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and tap that bell icon so you get notified of any future videos that I may upload uh, in the future. All right. Thanks very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, we're inside of our uh, Docker Compose uh, YAML file. We need to create three services, Nginx, PHP, and MySQL. They should all be under the same network um, and um, we should be able to configure them uh, as well. Um, the Nginx depends upon the uh, PHP and MySQL, so it's not gonna get um, started until the PHP and MySQL are both started. Um, yeah, it's uh, basic um, stuff, nothing, uh, nothing um, new uh, and so on, but just uh, three services running on the same uh, network. The Nginx uh, config file I've done in another project, so I'm just going to uh, quickly move it over, copy and paste it and use that instead. So I've already um, written a my.cnf file in another project, just have a quick scan to find that and copy it over. And once I've copied it over, um, I can use it. Um, rather than digging through the internet to try and find what it is I want to do uh, as soon as I actually find the folder that it's in that I want. There it is, got it. Right, moved over and I'll put it into the conf file. But we now need to update our, doc, our Docker Compose file um, to make sure we tell it that uh, it should use this configuration. Um, if you've already noticed, I've made the mistake with inside of the, the volumes and it's going to create a folder every single time. And uh, I'm going to scratch my head and work out why it's not working for a little bit because... Um, yeah, I just started my Docker um, harp and dashboard and uh, just try and build it. And you can see it's an error because it keeps on creating under this conf file folder, another folder because it's a volume. Uh, it should be copying over a file rather than creating a folder. And it's because I've misspelled it. And you see it's the my.sql file or folder is always being created. And uh, yep, yeah, now I work it out, but I still make a typo um, and so on because it's still creating a my.conf. Um, just finally, have a quick look, David, and he finds... Um, the Docker file and sees there that I've misspelt it. There it is. Right, and it all builds correctly. Super. The um, all the containers um, build, but the MySQL um, container is not building correctly because it's missing uh, missing information it needs with inside of the environment. So let's just create the MySQL root password and set it as password. Also the MySQL user of David, it's going to create that user um, with the password um, defined under MySQL password. It's also going to create a customer's database. So let's just run um, and restart the MySQL container once again. You can see that it's all successful and uh, everything's been created. So uh, now just to 
go and inspect and go inside of the uh, MySQL uh, container to check that everything is actually working correctly and to see that my user um, has been registered and that the database is there. Yes, it is. The customer database has, is there. Um, so we can um, exit out and also check um, that we can access it externally. So add the bind address uh, with 000 IP address so I can access it directly off on my Mac using the host um, and also the port. Don't forget to put the port with a um, dash uppercase P. And then you can access it once again without having to go um, through the container uh, all the time. The next task is to check that our uh, Nginx server is, um, can react first of all to um, HTML. So let's just create an index.html and put some random text high there in it and refresh. Um, this is not working. Um, it's because I forgot to change the, um, the root folder of the Nginx. So go in the comp file and change the root to just uh, forward slash uh, web and this will fix the problem. Uh, Nginx will need to be restarted to, to make these changes, so back to Docker, and we just need to restart the Nginx container, and that will be fine. And go back over to um, Chrome, and so on, we can refresh, and we see our hi there useless website. Um, next thing to check is um, that PHP's um, running and working fine, so we can simply create an info.php or you can mistype it and put PGP uh, as well, but just quickly correct that. And um, just to output PHP info, so we can see um, that it is actually working and all the configurations properly. And once again, obviously misspelling uh, stuff would, yeah. Okay, we have PHP working fine, so we're super, super happy. And uh, now just time to check um, that all's fine. Our Docker file is all good everything's all good here and we can uh, move on with the next steps step okay finally um, just add our mysql folder to be uh, ignored because we don't want to send it uh, remove any passwords from the uh, docker compose file um, commit uh, everything so we can move on to the next stage Okay, and the final thing uh, to do is to set up our or create our uh, Laravel project using the composer create project Laravel forward slash Laravel and uh, create it in our web folder. Um, this is going to take a little bit of time, but due to the magic of iMovie, it can speed it up to less than 10 seconds. Okay, everything's installed and uh, we're all happy and uh, job's done. Let's go. Okay, now that Laravel is installed, we just need to update our Docker Compose file with all of the passwords and also reconfigure our nginx.config um, for the root to then look in um, the uh, web public folder. Uh, restart nginx and come to Firefox refresh and everything's there. Okay, just before we continue, okay, this video is sponsored by me. Uh, and uh, yeah, to show your appreciation, write a comment, say thank you, say something mean or say something whatever, like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. But now this is the time to, to give your feedback and give me a thumbs up, give me a thumb down, subscribe, write a comment, don't know. Okay. And everything's there, it's all working. To migrate um, the databases or to create all of the databases and tables and so on, we just need to run PHP Artisan. Uh, migrate in um, the command line. Um, so let's just uh, go into that. We see that um, it's not working right now because we haven't updated our env file with the, um, the host, the ports, the database name, the password and the user. If we run Tinker, we now see that um, we get a list of an empty database, but we know that it's all uh, working and our migrations are completed. So everything's working. Now that we know we have a MySQL server running with our database and the tables, plus a Nginx server um, that's providing our Laravel project, we could just do a little bit of cleanup now um, with Git, uh, ready to, to commit everything uh, so it's nice and tidy um, for the future. Um, before we start actually developing our Lav Laravel <laughs> um, projects, I just removed any unused um, folders from Git that we don't want to send um, to, to um, GitHub and so on, and making sure it's all still running fine. 
Well, there we go. Uh, so I hope uh, you understand, uh, understood um, the steps. Just to reiterate uh, what I talked about, uh, we created a Docker Compose YAML uh, file um, that contained three services, a PHP, MySQL, and also an Nginx. The Nginx was the main thing that actually served the PHP, the website, um, yeah, when it was called. And it listened on, in this situation, port 8080. That then used the PHP, um, or it called the Laravel uh, project. And that is the one thing that then communicated with the MySQL server. The MySQL server then um, talked back uh, and so on. Now, as you can see, we didn't actually do anything apart from set up the project. Um, but once you've mastered uh, doing this, um, it's ready for any project. Essentially, this is your base project. Um, yeah. And uh, the only thing you have to then change are the different configurations with inside of the Docker Compose file, the MySQL user, MySQL password, MySQL database. Set these to the different names that you want to have. And also not to forget to update your nth dot nth file with inside of your Laravel project to tell it which database, user, password, and so on um, to use. I hope you like this video. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit, little bit different from the stuff that um, I've done over the past uh, year or so. Um, but I, I want to, wanted to give you back something that was more of a, a production um, video, something that you would see inside of a company. Um, obviously, this work would be spread over a little bit longer. You wouldn't be doing it as quick, quick, quick as possible. You'd be doing a little bit more time. Uh, running some tests on it to making sure it's absolutely tip top with security measures but this is definitely a a good stepping stone for a production server okay it's nearly staging server but not far from uh, a production server um thank you very much for watching and uh, it's a short video uh, i wish you a uh, nice time stay safe okay so anyone that is still listening um i've actually done another two hours after this video of other stuff and uh, I'll wait to see how the views are because uh, I've just spent the past two and a half hours editing this video. Um, if I see it's pretty good the, the views on this one video and the comments and the likes and the shares and so on then I'll post the video just here. Alright, okay, once again stay safe, bye.